Hey everybody, thanks for hanging out upstairs with us, and on today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to walk you through how to do a dry install on your riser graphics for your modded Arcade 1UP machine. Okay guys, we're back. So of course what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your riser, you're gonna need your riser graphics, you're gonna need your felt tip squeegee, some clamps, tack rag, some alcohol wipes, and don't forget your super sharp cutting knife. Make sure that your cutting knife is super sharp. Go ahead and grab your rag, go ahead and wipe it off, get any uh, pet hair, debris, dust, get it all off uh, the kick off the riser, off the side of the riser. We're going to do a side panel first. And of course, we're going to grab our alcohol wipes. I love having these around the house. Use them for all these kind of projects all the time. Get it wiped down and of course, let it dry before you start sticking things on there. Any indentations or chips in the wood, we're just going to have to work our way around. This one's not in great shape. But if we take our time, it'll look really good when we're done. We're going to go ahead now and use our clamps. I used to use painter's tape, but I've discovered that using clamps is so much better, guys. Go ahead and get your clamps in the corners, like so. And go ahead and, at this point, make sure everything's lined up before you start doing anything. You might have to readjust your clamps, readjust your position. Make sure you have your graphic laying the way you want it. And of course, at this point, you're going to go ahead and peel back half of your graphic from the backing paper on the graphic. Not all of it, just half. Once you get that peeled, you're going to go ahead and grab your super sharp cutting knife and go ahead and slice this backing paper off. If your knife is sharp, it's going to come off in one smooth stroke. Now at this point, guys, this is key. Get your felt tip squeegee and go slow. Remember, guys, slow is key. Nice, smooth, slow strokes. If you rush, if you push it too far, if you try to move faster than you should, if you're impatient, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to end up with creases or bubbles in your graphics. It's, remember, guys, applying graphics is a marathon, not a sprint. Take your time. It's a work of art that you're building, and you want it to look beautiful by the time you're done. As you see here, we have almost made it to the edge, and by taking our time and going slow... We've gotten that graphic on bubble free with a dry install. Any indentations or anything in the graphic would be caused by any kind of scratches or pores in the wood. This particular riser has seen better days. At this point, of course, we're going to peel back our other half of our riser graphic uh, from the backing paper and we're going to follow the same steps. We don't need to use clamps because uh, the graphic is already stuck to the wood so this part's a lot easier and we just take our time go nice and slow nice short strokes and as you can see by the time we're done it's going to look great. Usually when aftermarket modding partners print these graphics uh, they print them a little bit larger than what they're going to be stuck on so you will have to do some trimming on the edges. These particular graphics came from Escape Pod Online. After I cut out the screw holes on the front, I went ahead and put it down. Make sure you put it on a surface that you don't scratch the surface. I'm replacing these uh, island countertops anyway. We're doing a kitchen remodel soon. So I really don't care if I scratch it up, but we're going to we're gonna put this paper down anyway so uh, the old wife doesn't get mad at P-dubs. As you can see, if you press firm and hard and just ride the edge of the riser, it's going to come off in a nice straight angle and it's going to look great. You might have to do some extra trimming uh, going around the feet of the riser, those little white feet. Uh, and if you have to do that, that's no big deal. Make sure it's nice and clean and it looks great. As you can see, it looks fantastic. We're going to do our front riser now. Uh, now, the front riser is in a different shape than the other risers. It's not a straight rectangle. So this one's a little bit more challenging, but not by much. We're just going to follow the same steps. We're going to wipe her down. We're going to get our graphic lined up where we want it. God, that Capcom logo is going to look good on here. We're going to peel back half of our paper. And we're going to slice it off. Get that all sliced off. And then, again, take your time. Go slow. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Enjoy it. And as you can see, we're making something wonderful. This 
This riser is going to look fantastic by the time we're done. Patience is key. Once you get half side down, go ahead and start working on the other side. And if I've mentioned it already, these graphics came from Escape Pod Online. Don't forget to use coupon code PDUBS when you're placing orders with Escape Pod Online. That way you'll save 20% off your total Arcade 1UP graphic order. Don't forget to use that coupon code. Now, as you can see here, we have to follow the edges. So when you're following the edges, just take your time. And if you do it correctly, you can get it done in one or two passes. As you can see, boom, done. Now, go ahead and check your edges, see if you missed anything, see if by any chance you didn't cut completely straight. If you didn't cut completely straight, you might have to do just a little bit of trimming, but be careful you don't make over corrections. And as you can see, that riser graphic really matches this modded Arcade 1UP Fantasy Machine that I'm working on. A personal favorite of mine. Can't wait to show you guys the final build. I hope you guys are going to be excited about this particular machine that I'm working on. As you can see, it looks fantastic. Hopefully this quick walkthrough video helped you with applying kickplate graphics. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. We got lots of great content coming down the road. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a great day. <laughs>